All right, my dear students, this is Accounting Coach ARD and we are going to discuss a topic for today is over and under absorb of overheads. Now, as you may be aware from my earlier lectures that uh, overhead is sum of all indirect costs. If we add up indirect material, indirect labor and indirect expense, all these three things comprise of overheads. Now, whenever we absorb overhead, we need to calculate an OAR. OAR stand for overhead absorption rate. Now overhead absorption rate is basically calculated as budgeted overhead divided by budgeted activity. Budgeted overhead is estimated overhead and budgeted activity is estimated activity. So whenever we calculate OAR, OAR is basically an estimated overhead absorption rate. Now, whenever we absorb overhead on the base of this estimated rate, this estimated overhead becomes sometimes the overhead is overabsorbed, means overcharged, and sometimes the overhead is underabsorbed, means the overhead that has been charged over products is more than that should have been charged, or it is sometimes less than that actually should have been charged. Now, sir, how to calculate this over and under absorb? This will be calculated with the help of a simple formula. And for that, I need to solve a basic example and exercise for over and under absorption. Now, let us consider an example. There are two items given in the examination question. One is budgeted data and one is actual data. Budgeted is somewhat based. Uh, this is as an estimated data and actual is what actually happened after an year end. Now we have overheads that are budgeted were 100,000. We estimated that uh, in this year, the total indirect cost would sum up to $100,000. Maybe it is indirect material, indirect labor or indirect expenses. These are rents of the factory and the depreciation and the insurance, all of the things that cannot be traced. And what happened at the end of the year, the actual overhead comprised of $115,000. So we estimated the overhead would be $100,000, but the actual overhead amounted to $115,000. Now we have an activity. Activity can be labor hours, it can be machine hours, or it can be number of units. So uh, we estimated that our labor in a factory will work for around 10,000 hours. And what happened actually? Actually, the labor worked for 9,000 hours in reality. Now, the requirement is we need to calculate over and under absorb. We need to calculate how much overhead has been over absorbed or how much of the overhead has been under absorbed. Now, to calculate over and under absorb, there is a small formula that we'll be using in the examination. The formula is actual overhead incurred minus amount absorbed actual overhead incurred means the amount of actual overhead that has been spent in this year so actual overhead in this question is 115000 so at the end of the year we came to know that the actual overhead amounted to 115000 and how do we need to calculate this amount absorbed this amount absorbed need to be calculated there's another formula for amount absorbed which is OAR into actual activity. OAR means overhead absorption rate. You have already studied this OAR previously. Now the formula for OAR, overhead absorption rate is budgeted overhead, that is estimated overhead, divided by budgeted activity. Now activity can be labor hours, it can be machine hours, or it can be number of units. Now the budgeted overhead, first of all, we need to calculate OAR in order to calculate the amount absorbed. For OAR, we need budgeted overhead. So the budgeted overhead in this question is $100,000. So we estimated that the overhead in this year would amount to 100,000 and we estimated the activity would be 10,000 labor hours. We estimated that we'll be working for 10,000 hours in this year. So the OAR, overhead recovery rate or overhead absorption rate is $10 per labor hour. Means, uh, means that our labor will work for one hour and the estimated overhead that will arise would be $10 for each hour of labor work. Okay, 
so we calculated oar that is dollar 10 per labor hour and now we need to multiply it with the actual activity actual activity is the actual amount of activity being worked by labor or machines so the actual activity is 9000 labor hours in this question because the overhead absorption rate is based on labor hours so the activity would also be in labor hours if the activity uh, such as machine hours is also given we'll be using labor hours why because the overhead absorption rate used labor hours in the first place okay so the actual activity was 9000 labor hours so what happened we estimated that the one hour that the labor will work in a factory the estimated overhead would be ten dollar and the labor actually worked for nine thousand hours so the total overhead that is absorbed in this year is ninety thousand dollars okay total overhead absorbed is ninety thousand dollars okay so the budgeted so sorry the actual overhead was 115,000 but we absorb overhead as 90,000 so the actual overhead is more and the amount that we absorb is less this means there is an under absorb overhead of $25,000 this is under absorbed so how can we uh, make sure that this is under absorbed or over absorbed for this I have uh, made a mnemonic for you for you to remember that is no poo yes it's a funny word no poo so no poo means if the answer for this is negative the answer would be known as over absorbed if the answer for this is negative, this means it is an overabsorb of overhead. If the answer for this is positive, this means it is an underabsorb of overhead. Now, if the actual overhead is greater and the amount that we have absorbed is less, then the difference would be positive. If the difference is positive, this means underabsorb. And you can also appreciate the fact this way that if we absorb less overhead than the actual overhead that has been uh, incurred, the difference would be underabsorbed. And simultaneously, if we absorb more overhead than the actually overhead that has been arise, this would be known as overabsorb. So you can easily remember this with the help of no poo. If the answer is negative, this means an overabsorb. If the answer is positive, this means an underabsorb. So my dear students, I hope you understood the basics behind over and underabsorb. These are two simple formulas you need to remember and you are done with your over and underabsorb. Overabsorb means more overhead has been charged to products than actually that should have been charged. And underabsorb means less overhead has been charged to the products than actually it should be. Now the question arises, sir, which is better? To overcharge overhead is better and to undercharge is better. Uh, the answer for this is neither of them is better. Why? It both have some serious issues whether we absorb overabsorb or overhead and, and whether we underabsorb an overhead. If we overabsorb an overhead, this means our cost is greater than there sh should actually be. If the cost is greater, so then if, if the overhead cost is greater, then our production cost is greater. If we are calculating profit based on markup of production cost, if we are uh, estimating profit, then our markup profit would be also greater. So if you uh, argue that if the profit is greater, it's good for the business, no. Because if we are working in a competitive environment and if we start selling the goods for more than our competitors, our rivals are selling, this means our quantity demanded would decrease. Okay, uh, so overabsorb is not good because if we charge at more prices, at greater prices, our demand will go down. And similarly, what's the case with underabsorb? Underabsorb means all of the fixed costs has not been recovered. Be means we are selling at actually lesser than we could actually could sell. Okay, if we are selling at less than optimal price, that me means we cannot earn profit as much as, as we can earn from the business. Okay. So I hope my students, you understood this and if you benefit from this, I hope you did. You kindly do subscribe my channel and do recommend this channel to other friends. Thank you.